What is it about the obsession of wanting to have the perfect photo? If you're like me, every now and then you get the opportunity to go to some you know, great places. And within those opportunities, it's a really dope experience to be able to share those moments with your family and friends. Another bonus to that situation is that if you're somewhat in the photography space to where you're like, bet, now I can really put my camera through the paces and really to test it out in the different type of situations to see how I'll hold up. So I brought the Viltrox 75mm lens with me to be the main focal link for me throughout this entire experience. I would have preferred a wider lens to capture everything, but I felt like this was a healthy challenge that you know I needed essentially to try to put myself in situations to kind of be a little bit more innovative within how I'm handling this type of focal length. So one of the photos that I took was of the Akapi, I believe is how you pronounce it. And essentially at first glance, I really didn't like the photo as much. Uh, because I felt like it was you know, too underexposed. However, the more I studied the photo, I began to just truly appreciate the details within it, such as the bulk in the foreground on those bushes and the layers of bushes to actually get to the okapai. Also, I noticed a subtle ray of sunlight on the okapai in itself. I thought that was pretty cool to be able to see those details within the photos in itself. truly enjoyed like the layers within this particular shot because of the fact is that you see in the foreground is that there's that lunch pail, that car there, that's kind of like out of focus, but then you slowly start to get in focus with the goat and how the goat just kind of blends in with the background because of the color, um, because of the color palette essentially, is that it has this rustic type of gritty type of vibe to it that I truly like. So I think this is one of the photos that initially, again, was like, hey, underexposed, don't know if I like it, but again, just really just looking at the details and appreciating them and really trying to just take in every moment with that. I love the darker tones of this particular shot of the hampercot bird. I think that the sunlight peeking through the parts of the trees really helped it to give it like a moody type of vibe. And I don't know, I just really appreciated the way it looked. Like I felt as though it's like, you know, I feel like I'm in my Nat Geo type bag as of right now, be able to pull off shots like this. I love architecture, like I love the symmetry, I love the design, I love everything about it. And I, it doesn't matter if it's an old building or a newer building, it's something that I truly enjoy capturing. So needless to say, I felt fulfilled, you know, coming to Disney, being able to take photos of their architecture and really appreciating the design of the buildings and the artistry within them. And yeah, just really just taking that in. So I was truly glad I was able to capture some shots of that. And I felt like the designs of the buildings reminded me of like a mixture of Victorian and colonial type styles. And it was giving me that vibe. And with so many people there, it just added to the layers that I could capture within the photos in itself. Um, I would say that one of my favorite shots was at the train station. I was able to capture this photo to where I was intending to get the painting in itself, but everything else just kind of 
aligned with it i guess like all the elements like i had one person walking in front to where it was in the foreground but then i had this woman that was sitting on this bench area that was just looking at her phone and i felt as though as that i don't know when i went back and looked at it i was like this is a pretty dope photo like i liked all of the elements that were going into it Another shot that I enjoyed, which can be seen as like a little cluttered and busy with all the people going on within the photo itself was of the train station. And I just appreciated the layers that were captured within it. Obviously you have the busyness of the people that are in it that gives it that layer. Even though it was overcast and rainy in between it, it was still something that added a little more detail to the photo that really wasn't expecting. I think that I was able to create a lot of images that really speak to the genre of photography that I truly enjoy, which is wildlife and architecture. I was able to truly walk away from Disney that day being satisfied as far as like all of the images I was able to capture. I think that I'm gradually getting to the point to where I'm not subconsciously comparing myself to others' work. Whenever you just need to take a step back sometimes within the photos and just really begin to study it and appreciate it for what it is. I think what continually helps me or as a constant reminder is asking myself this question, is that what is this obsession with having the perfect photo? But that's it. That's my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And as always, continually appreciate the process. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces. And another one. Sun.